Thompson here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are redoing our Premier League predictions because four weeks in we've got it all wrong haven't we thought We that? haven't got it all wrong but first of all what a studio Theo. I know it's just the start we've got a taste like promotion lighting coming out the back <laughs> that's when you really need to appreciate it. For the new studio let's get 10k likes it's a new beginning on this channel there's going to be a lot of great takes made in this room. We're going to get better aren't we Theo but let's start with Arsenal shall we because you predicted second I predicted second. Now, they won the first two games narrowly and then messed up against Fulham, Theo. Yeah. Is that a worry? Well, it is a worry, but I think their new signings are gelling well. Declan Rice has adapted so well, hasn't he? He has, Theo, and Bukayo Saka is a joy to watch. Two goals, one assist. I mean, you just can't defend against him, can you? A lot of people comment on the channel saying, Theo, why do you always hate on Arsenal? I'll give you my honest reason. I live in London and all my mates are Arsenal fans. It's never nice to just be giving them compliments. I roast Arsenal because it's fun. And I'm sorry, but I'll put my hands in the air and say, you guys are brilliant. I'm sticking with second place. I'm sticking with second place as well. Aston Villa, in our original predictions, you said eighth, I said eighth. They're actually tenth here. Now, they were battered, weren't they, by Newcastle opening day of the season. But they've got two wins already, haven't they? Yeah, Unai Emery has shown an incredible array of results, losing 5-1 <laughs> to the Geordies, then coming back the next week, smashing Burnley. But then he fell away again. I don't know how to call Villa. I mean, going Liverpool away is one of the most difficult fixtures of the Premier League. And maybe it's hard to judge four weeks in. The fact that we're reciting already. Moussa Diaby, I've said it all along. One of the signings of the season in the league. He's superb. Two goals, one assist yeah. already. There's a lot more to come. Well, of course, they've got Conference League football this year. But beneficially, they've got more depth. Pau Torres has come in. Diego Carlos is like a new signing because of his long-term injury last year. Leon Bailey is back to his best. Aston Villa are ready to make that step up for European football. I'm sticking Aston Villa one place below, but I really think they could be up there. It's going to be very close between that sixth to ninth stretch, and I'm very excited for Villa this year. They're going to be eighth, Theo. No changes for me. AFC Bournemouth, the 16th in the league and winless, but they picked up a couple of draws there. Yes. Where are they going to finish at the end of the season? I originally predicted them 15th, and I'm moving them up to 14th. I think there's three much weaker teams that are looking for a relegation battle this year. Bournemouth have a goal scorer in Solanke, a manager that's gone to Brentford away and nearly picked up three points. You know Bournemouth have only lost three games in 24 matches and Bournemouth of all clubs went there and until the 96th minute, until Mbwemo scored that finish, they continued their run. Disagree Theo, this is going to be a relegation scrap all the way to maybe April or May. I'm going 16th. Brentford are 8th in the league and unbeaten after 4 games, but 3 of those are draws. But Theo, that front 3 look impressive. I yes. was there to see Sharda get his wonder goal. Visser has been amazing. And Buemo's got 4 goals, Theo. What a team. Brentford, they are just in the perfect situation. They're not trying to be a top 4, top 6 team. They're not overly prioritising the seasons. Matthew Benham has set out with the manager, Thomas Frank, simple, understanding targets, and they're going to reach them year by year. If Brentford can build momentum, then they get Ivan Tony back in January, that throws a new mix into it. I've kept them in 10th place predicted, but if they surprise anyone, it wouldn't shock me. 10th place for me. Brighton and Hope Albion Ooh. are sixth in the league, and they're the highest scoring team in the league so far with 12 goals. Evan Ferguson, Theo, 18 years old, he is bursting onto the scene. Evan Ferguson just shocks me. I mean, the fact that Roberto De Zerbi didn't even start him at the beginning of the season, it shows that with these youth players, he's still a teenager, by the way, yeah, yeah. you've got to bring them in slowly. And that is what Roberto De Zerbi has done with Evan Ferguson and look what he did. He dropped a hat-trick against Newcastle United, the team everybody was excited for. The team that's entering the Champions League group of death got finished by the Seagulls. That is true, Theo. Now there's been a lot of players out the door, but you've still got Solly Marsh, you've still got Mitoma and Pascal Gross, and those are three players who are having wonderful seasons. Look, I'll be honest with that. Brighton, I, at the start of the season, I predicted ninth. After watching their first few games, I'm going to move them up one place to eighth, and I'm sticking with ninth place. Burnley of Lancashire have only played three games there, but they've got the worst defensive record in the league. They've conceded 11, and your mate James Trafford finding it hard. Burnley have had very hard fixtures. However, I'm not convinced that they have enough to stay up this year in the Premier League. Yeah. And I originally put them to survive in the relegation battle in 17th place. 
And if I'm going to recite my predictions off the first four weeks, I don't think Vincent Company has what it takes. I'm reciting my predictions and I'm putting them in a relegation spot. 18th place. You make that, a, am I mug? I think it's going to come slightly right. It's going to be a relegation scrap right to the last game. 17th for me. I 17th, think, so they're going to survive. Somehow, okay. somehow they'll survive. Chelsea Football Club are 12th in the league. New season, same old problems. Can you think of any positives first there? Um, they've got a great squad. Potential wise, yes, they can build on that, yes. But negatives is Hotch has not come up with as many plans as I expected. The style of play seems very poor, yeah. Players are not performing to their standard expected. Nico Jackson for being one, you know, Raheem Sterling incredible against Luton Town, but next week Forrest at home couldn't do a thing. I'm not convinced. There's that. a lack of chemistry. You're the one who thought Chelsea might be top four this season, yes. I put them fourth. And I'm knocking myself in the head thinking, Theo, you are a mug. I'm resetting it right now. I'm throwing them in sixth. I'm not giving them a Champions League spot. I apologise. I shouldn't have put Chelsea with that much respect in the Premier League predictions at the start of the season. I think the chemistry will come to some extent. They're not getting Champions League. Fifth. Crystal Palace are seventh at the moment and I saw them away to Brentford and they were impressive in that second half. Joachim Anderson, Theo, is a really good football player and Odson Edouard, he's finding some of that form that we saw at Glasgow Celtic. Edouard's now replicated the amount of goals he scored in a whole season in a few games. That man is hot. Theo, Crystal Palace have a good team from goalkeeper to centre forward. They're going to do all right. They can easily get into the top 10. I'm sticking with 11th. Yeah, I've got them in 12th place. Everton are in 18th place, just one point in four games, and they've only scored in one of those games. Yeah. I mean, this is a relegation scrap, isn't it? When I watch Everton this season, I don't really know what the tactic is, yeah. and I worry because Sean Dyche never goes into a season like this. Yes. I, I spent time with him this summer in Valdelobo in Portugal, and he was getting on the pitch. <laughs> and we were talking about- He's got everything. every right to. Oh, absolutely, in the summer. This is not a way of me roasting him. Yeah, yeah. And I hope to see him next year. He's a top lad, and I'm sure there is not a difference in tactics to what he's doing. Now, they lost to Wobi. Do you think that's going to affect them a lot? Um, it's not a positive, is it, Theo? No. I look at the Everton squad and I just think relegation. It's, it's as simple as that. And I agree with you, Theo. I like the manager. I like Daichi. But he's the good owners man. have not put the money no. in it for that reason. 18th place, you're going to get relegated. I disagree, Thog Dad. They're going to survive. It's going to be close. 17th place, and it will be very late on. I, I can't believe you're putting them to get relegated. Fulham are 13th, and the goalkeeper, Bern Leno, has been very busy. He's made 22 saves already. The other news, Mitrovic is on his way to Saudi Arabia. It's not looking good, is it? Well, I just watched Mitrovic score a hat-trick. I know you did. At least he's still a good player. Yes. Sorry, Fulham fans. I don't want to rub it in. Tosin and Rubio, the move fell through with Monaco. Yes. So, technically, that's still another centre-back option. They've got Calvin Bassey, who's come up to a bit of a woeful start with that yeah. mistake in one of their games. Tim Ream! Ream! Ream. Scored, against... scored, didn't he? He did, but yeah. then they conceded five hard hat-trick. But he was my FPL captain! But I shouldn't be rubbing that into Fulham fans, I'm sorry. Fulham will not be in a relegation battle, no way. And I'm going to put them in 15th place. Yeah, I agree, Theo, to a certain extent. I'm going to go 13th. Liverpool are in third place. And first of all, what a comeback against Newcastle at St James's Park. Darwin Nunes, Theo, who saw that coming? It will happen eventually with him. I'd like to look back to Odegaard when he first joined Arsenal. Yes. He was always wanted to pass it at big moments and never wanted to shoot. When he did shoot, it wasn't perfect. It was too soft. And he worked hard on the training ground. He figured out a tactic. And now he scores more goals than Saka. Yeah. And I think the same will happen with Darwin Nunes. Yes, but the question is, Mo Salah, is he going to Saudi Arabia in the next two days? Oh, no, he won't. I don't think he'll go. There's, I've not seen anything going to advanced talks on yeah. Twitter. And the fact that the deadline's coming quick and fast, I don't expect that it'll be done. I think they're going to have to wait till January. I agree with that, Theo. Liverpool, third place. I agree, Thogdad. I think they've got enough to stay with what I predicted before, which is third place. Luton Town are back at Kenilworth Road, but they are 19th in the league. Yes. I'm not sure about positives. The only positive for me, Ross Barclay looked pretty good in the last game. Yeah, do you know what? He threw his weight around. Kenilworth Road has had a nice reinvention. You know, yeah. It's nice to have a stadium like that in the Premier League. It shows that everybody can make it to the top. Bolton were once a few years back. Remember yeah. on the European tour to Atletico Madrid away. It can happen to anyone. If you're watching this video and you're a bloody Gillingham fan, never say never. Anything can happen in football. However, I don't think Luton are going to be spending a second year in the Premier League. Yes. They're definitely relegated. I'm sticking with my original prediction of 20th place. Not enough there. 19th. Manchester City are first in the league. What a surprise. And Erling Haaland is top of the golden boot race with six goals. What a surprise there, but Kevin De Bruyne are injured, but other players are coming through, aren't they? Dad, they're the one team in all English leagues to have a perfect record so yeah. far. 
Manchester City are not in a title race. They are title winners yeah. for a fourth time. And with new signings, Guardiola, Doku, Matias Nunes is the perfect depth for them to go on a Champions League run too, which they've had a, a pretty good group they've been blessed with. So they can balance the teams. They've got a nice academy breaking through. Everything is looking great for Manchester City. First place, as I said before. First place by a country mile. Manchester United are 11th at the moment. They're great at Old Trafford, but on the road field, they have bottled it, haven't they? They have. It's been a very tough time for the club so far. A lot of people questioning Eric Ten Hag. I question him, yeah. but I also think that they've had a busy transfer window. We've not seen Amrabat yet. Onana's just come in, and people don't understand a change in a goalkeeper makes such a big difference to the team. And the likes of Varane and Lindelof, when they're back playing full 90 minutes regularly, that's when we'll see the prime Manchester United. And that's when they'll see them climbing back to the place they belong. I put them fifth at the start of the season. A lot of people are dropping them out, even your Europa League spots. Yes. But I'm keeping United there. Now, I'm going to stick with fourth place for Man United. Newcastle United are in 14th place. They started so well against Villa, but they've lost three on the bounce. Should we panic? No, we should not panic. Newcastle are a team with squad depth. They need time. Eddie Howe has just had the Champions League announcement. He's had his assistant manager kicking off with Jurgen Klopp. He's had a lot of things thrown at him from all angles. You know, once you hang with the big boys, all the pressures come with it. Yeah. And Eddie Howe has never been a big boy. He's never sat on the big Premier League table. This international break is key. He needs to relax. He needs to think outside of football. He needs to chill out with his family. Come back to the Premier League with a fresh head. Get the team gelling again. And when they back to the football like they played last year, I bet you there'll be all these problems will go out the window. I have moved Newcastle down to seventh. And the reason I've done that is because Champions League will be a distraction. Yeah. I'm sticking with sixth place. I think it will come together. I've been very impressed with Anthony Gordon. What a quick player he oh, is. Oh, he's great, there. yeah. He's going to be special. Nottingham Forest are ninth in the table field. They've already won two games, which is massive. Taiwo Awinoye, Theo, three goals already. He has been fantastic. Six goals in a row in Premier League games. Last three games, first three games. The guy's a killer. They're going to get sneaky wins away from home that they didn't do last year. Yes. They're not going to be in a relegation battle. Forest fans, you've got an amazing home form. You've gone away to Chelsea. You've sneaked a 1-0 win. Love it. Seriously. I agree, Theo. I'm saying 14th place. I'm impressed by Forest. I've season. moved them up one spot. You know? okay, 13th good. place. Sheffield United are in 17th place with just one point. I've got to say, where's Fodderingham, the goalkeeper? 20 saves already. He's looked good. Gus Harmer's looked good, I think. But that's about the only positives. They don't have a strong enough team to compete. I like some of the styles of play. There was that one build-up goal they got against Everton. Yeah. Cameron Archer, where McBurney laid it off to him and he finished it. You saw the build-up down the right wing back. They, they look a lot better than Luton Town. But they don't have enough to survive in the Premier League, in my opinion. I'm sorry. You've got to win games like Everton at home. That is an absolute must if you want to survive. And they didn't. So I'm going to go 19th. Sorry, Blades. Rock bottom, 20th. Tottenham Hotspur are second in the league after four games. And one of my Spurs mates said to me we should have sold Harry Kane <laughs> earlier because Hong Min Son has come through with that hat-trick. James Madison, Kulosevsky, Anna Solomon looks good. Tottenham, nobody knows how to defend against them. Similarly to Newcastle last year, when they had that first jump up, Ange ball is something that other teams can't prepare for. They will finish, and I've recited this, in the top four. Wow. Champions League football at Tottenham next year, Ange ball. I'm going to stick with seventh place, but I admit I might be slightly wrong. West Ham United are unbeaten and sitting in fourth place. Theo, what a season so far, but can that continue? Oh, it's a tough one. They got their business done. Edson Alvarez. Mo Kudus and James Ward-Prowse for a bargain deal and I don't know why nobody else signed him from higher up in the table and actually decided to, to give Southampton the price that they were asking for because my boy's a baller. Yeah. So West Ham, you know, I'm moving them up to 11th. I'm, I think they could even sneak into the top half. It wouldn't surprise me. It's a great time to be a West Ham fan. They're finally looking solid for their Europa League year. Well, I originally said 12th place. I admit I might have got it wrong, but I'm not going to change it after four games. I'm going to say 12th. And finally, Wolverhampton Wanderers are 15th and struggling already. Jose Sarr has made about 20 saves already. What's going to happen here? They're struggling, but I don't think they're going to get relegated. And originally, I did. 
did. Wanky Chan is starting to get yes. a role, getting a few goals. Do you know what, things? Getting a goal every 69 minutes. They Amazing. need to start in short. Clinical. Yes. And this is what we saw at RB Salzburg. Wolves are moving them up from 18th to 16th. Wow. They're not going to be in a relegation spot. Well, I'm going to say 15th place, but I think it will be a relegation scrap until quite late in the season. Tell us in the comments, are we mugs? Let us know about your clubs, because you know better than us. Yeah. We're just a couple mugs. We might sell a mug, say mug with our face on soon. Let's do it. That would sell do that? a million. Would you guys want that? Smash 10,000 likes for the new setup, Fog Dad. First time in new setup. You like it? I love it, Theo. Lots of videos to come. TDL is smashing it. Shall we bring back the live streams? Let us know in the comments. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Yeah.